Hello everyone, it's Kristen here at Joyfully Thriving and welcome back to another frugal grocery haul this week. I have a lot of good deals to share with you, including, guess what? A sale on butter, finally. It's time for Easter butter sales, so yes. Let me show you everything I've got, where the best deals are this week. I did a couple different trips. I did Sam's earlier in the week. I did Aldi and I'll be going back because yes, butter is on sale at Aldi this week. And then I just did Kroger this morning to pick up the new deals, so lots of Things to show you let me go ahead and show you the trips first but stay tuned because I want to talk and give you a couple tips at the end to help you stretch your budget so let's just jump right into it today let me start with Kroger and then I'll tack on Aldi and Sam so you can see all those and we'll chat again in a minute these are the Kroger deals this week and there really were some good ones so let me try to just talk you through everything and point out a couple things I noted because my list did look different going in but I did some in-store substitutions to save some more money myself this is why most of the time I prefer going into the store myself all right apple juice was $1.49 again this week this is one of those things if you clip the coupon last week you actually do not have to reclip it but you can use it again I went ahead and got five of these they don't expire till 2024 we will definitely use it all before then and that's one of the things if you heard me talk about my stockpile earlier I'm trying to build up some of the things I know we always always use and get to a good six month supply in our pantry so working on that with apple juice ice cream sandwiches and ice cream are both $1.99 when you clip the digital coupon limit five this is one of the specials this week they were out of the vanilla but one of the workers was looking for it herself and she very sweetly grabbed us too my kids were thrilled bananas can you tell which ones um <laughs> Lily and Caleb were holding as we shopped they were playing banana phone and calling each other those will be their bananas for lunch all right this was a really great deal that I wasn't expecting but I saw it in the ad they were advertising this beauty special if you bought three things you got five dollars off okay so these were on sale for $2.79 normally $2.99 and when you bought three you got five dollars off instantly so it came out to a dollar twelve a package which is a fabulous price like I haven't seen this price since specials several years ago when they used to occasionally go on special for 99 cents so I grabbed three of those and it said you can mix and match for anything with the beauty tags um, these really were the best ones that I saw and the five dollars comes off instantly at the checkout so that was a really great deal excited about that Doritos were $2.29 on sale when you bought four or more, so I bought four. Would you believe it says they're $5.99 a bag now is the normal price? That's ridiculous. Even $2.29 is hard to pay, but that's cheaper than what the generics are now, so I went ahead and grabbed those. Um, this is the larger bag of chips, and it was $2.99. The Lay's were on sale for $1.99 and so were the generics, but when you work it out per ounce, the bigger bag at $2.99 was like five cents an ounce cheaper. So I went ahead and grabbed those instead. Peanut butter was 99 cents. That was a fabulous deal, so excited. Grabbed all five jars of that. Again, this is good for, you can see right here, till 2024, we're a year out on that. So great deal. Also the bread, Kroger bread is 99 cents. I bake our own bread, so I didn't grab that right now, but that is a great deal too. Asparagus is the weekly deal, and that's $1.49 a pound. Grab one of those. Bacon was one of the specials, and it's the Jimmy Dean bacon. It was $3.49 for 12 ounces, which was okay, but I noticed, and I was going to grab one, but when I got to the store, this one was 16 ounces and on sale for $3.99. And again, when I worked it out per ounce, I just grabbed my calculator quick, this was $0.10 cents an ounce cheaper to buy this package. So, of course, I grabbed the bigger one. Don't have plans for it right now. I'm going to throw it in the freezer with that. I had a coupon for a free silk almond milk. I'll give that to a friend who uses that. I can never pass up free things. And then my kids, for some reason, have been requesting Fruit Loops. We haven't been eating cereal a lot. We do pancakes a lot in the morning, um, toast, oatmeal, a lot of those things. But they were requesting this, and the name brand were $2.49 on sale this week. So I was going to grab one of those, but then I looked up. And these were $2.99 for double the size. It was a 10 ounce package for $2.99 or $2.49 and 21 ounces for $2.99. So we got the bigger box of generic. Always pay attention to the unit price. I'm trying to do that more and more because you really can find some better deals if you pay attention to that unit price. So for everything on this counter, I spent $48.53. Excited to keep it under $50 at Kroger for some really good sales this week. 
All right, now let me show you what I got at Aldi and Sam's and stay tuned, we'll chat again at the end so you can see where I am for this month of March. Okay, I ran into Sam's Club because I needed to get a new vacuum cleaner. I've been researching it for a while. I've had an Auric for a long time and I've loved it, but we're going with something different and I'm trying a Shark and it was on instant deal this week. So I went ahead and grabbed that. While I was there picking that up, which I needed, I saw a couple of other instant deals and grabbed those. So applesauce is still the regular price, $2.59 a jar when it works out. Olives have gone up so much. They're $11.58 for the six jars now, which is $1.93. But I can get those name brand cheaper than generic other places, and they really are the best olives, and they last well. So then these other things were the instant deals. So the Gogurt here is instant deals this week, and it comes out to, after the instant savings, $4.78, or $1.19 a box. You're getting four boxes. Great deal there. Parmesan cheese is an instant deal, and that is $6.98, or it comes out to $2.32 when you divide it up. I think I'm going to refill that. I'll keep them both in the fridge and just empty from the big one into the smaller one with Parmesan cheese and do that. And then my favorite instant deal was actually the Ritz. I just bought Ritz finally a couple weeks ago, but this worked out to $8.12 for the big box. So it comes out to $2.04 for a smaller box, which is a fabulous price. Plus you get two extra sleeves because it's really four times four you know, boxes. So it'll be 16 and you get 18 stacks. So it's like getting two for free with a great deal. So that was a really good price here. All of this at Sam's today grocery wise cost me $39.24 and I'm going to mention Emma for her birthday last week requested a rotisserie chicken for Sam's with her baked potatoes. Um, that was easy for me. So my husband picked that up for her dinner and that was still $4.98 so I'll add that to our total for this week as well. This is my first Aldi trip of the week. I went in to grab butter because it's $2.49 a pound. Like I said, so excited to finally have a butter sale. So I grabbed my limit of six. And like I said, yes, I will go back this week to grab more. Um, while I was there, I grabbed a couple other things I knew we needed. Milk was $2.71. Mayo for the pantry shelf, $3.45. Ketchup, $1.75. And then cream cheese was $1.59, which is... Uh, it's hard to think that used to be 79 cents all the time still not that long ago it seems like but unfortunately $1.59 is about the best price right now and my son wants cre um, cheesecake for his birthday so I went ahead and grabbed that just to and a couple extra to make sure I had some in the fridge so for all of this at Aldi so far I spent $30.80 and like I said, yes, I'm sure this will be the first trip of the week and I'll keep you posted on how much butter I end up getting this week. Okay, so quite a few things. Again, just really hitting the sales this week. You know, I've done a couple stock up things. For everything in March so far, my total is now at $3.93 and 10 cents. Yes, $3.93 and 10 cents out of $475 with about a week to go in the month. So I feel very good about that. Here's what's going to happen though. I know I am going back to Aldi. I'm going back to Aldi for butter. I still have, I think when I did like my last freezer stock um, clean out, yeah, well, if you saw that video, I have got 24 pounds in the freezer, which is decent, but I know the butter sales come up really two times a year. They come up at Thanksgiving and they ended earlier this year until Christmas and then they come at Easter and really I don't know if we're gonna see a good sale until next Thanksgiving rolls around. Butter lasts a really long time in your fridge like it's I've never had a problem with butter going bad but what I tend to do is I just throw it all straight in the freezer when I get it and then when I need some I pull out one or two boxes I move it straight from the freezer into the fridge it just thaws in the fridge and I'm ready to use it for baking if I forget and all of a sudden I need some I just soften it in the microwave but I've never had a problem with that so that is what I do it freezes great you never notice a difference whether you're using it for spreading on toast um, or bread or if you're baking with it I have never noticed a problem freezing butter so if you have an Aldi near you get there this week and make sure you stop work up on butter it is a limit six per trip or per day so like I said we are blessed and I'm very thankful we have one right on the way to school so when I do pick up every day for this upcoming week, I will just run into Aldi quick and grab my six things of butter and leave. I will update you next week and we'll see how many pounds of butter I end up grabbing on this sale. 
Easter is still um, about three weeks away, so we'll see how long the sales last. Um, it very well could be next week as well and maybe one more week, but if you have a sale and you see a really good deal, just remember those sales don't always last. So just pay attention and stock up when you see a sale. All right, who else is stocking up on butter this week? I want to know. Let me know in the comments. Are you as excited as I am? I know a lot of you have been waiting and asking about when that sale is. So it's here. Thanks to everyone for watching this video. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you catch new videos when I post them every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.